When you do something bad, you can end up in prison. In the early settlement days, when prisoners did bad things like attempting to escape, they were sent to Sierra Island, and that's where we're going today. Just the cruise itself gave us spectacular views, and that alone would have been enough. But our guide Kaya from the Round Earth Company had plenty more in store for us. So welcome to Sarah Island. Okay, Sarah Island was the very first uh, uh, settlement for secondary offenders, and it was designed to be a place of banishment, complete banishment from all society. One thing prisoners like to do is escape, and in three months, the first successful escape took place, but not without a little drama. If you've got seven of them all together, you've got one axe and no other food, what do you reckon they did to survive? Oh no! They ate each other. Oh. Kaya kept us all entertained with stories about the island in the early 1800s. We toured old ruins like the solitary confinement building and she took us back in time going through the process of how ships were built and launched for the British Empire. So they would have fitted the keels into the keel rung and then supported the hulls using slider rails attached to these platforms to launch the vessels backwards, stern first off the slip. She was so committed to telling the story of how they built over 130 ships in the 12 years that that convict settlement was running. She recreated the whole thing, got in the water and showed us the various depths of the slips where they would have launched those boats. Now to launch these vessels down into the deep water, you have to launch them gently. So there's a step-like pattern, there's a second level of timbers under this and then it drops down to the harbour floor. I tell you what, I have found learning about Australia's early history and convicts in particular here at Sarah Island absolutely fascinating. Absolutely, Macca. And if you want to find out any more about this particular penal colony, just head to whatsupdownunder.com.au, click on the magazine tab to subscribe for our free online content. Our final stop of the cruise was Bonnet Island. Just a little over two hectares of land supporting a lighthouse servicing the entrance to Macquarie Harbour, an area known as Hell's Gate. And from the looks of it, I reckon they named it appropriately. I could not fathom how that was the only way into the port for the old ships back in the day. Truly amazing, very troublesome, and I imagine that along the bottom of that sea there is a number of shipwrecks to tell the story. 